Hello everyone and welcome back to another to another video by Dan the Movie Man. Instead of doing a review this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and rank all and rank some of the movies I saw in in the month of May. I've seen other YouTubers do it. I've seen other other YouTubers do it, and I figured, hey, you know, why not? I'll give it a shot. So let's start things off with the worst movie I saw this month, which was the movie I went to see yesterday. It, um, I saw Garfield yesterday, and this is, by my count, the second movie that I walked out of this year. The first one I walked out of was Madame Web. Garfield was so, like, and rarely do I ever walk out of a movie. Because, you know, even if it's bad, I, even if it's bad, I can still find some entertaining quality to it. This one, I couldn't, you know, like, um, it was, you know, the story was bad, you know, like, having the fact that Chris Pratt, Samuel L. Jackson, Hannah Waddingham, and, um, Ving Rhames, some of the voices that signed on, I'm just shocked that, that they read the script and they agreed to be in this. Um, if whoever the hell wrote this movie, they clearly need to actually focus on what kids want to see and actually think what could entertain kids. Because from my standpoint, I can tell you that if, if I was, if I was five years old and my, if I was four or five years old and I'm four or five or six years old and my parents took me to see this I don't think I would find this funny or entertaining at all I don't like I would not take your kids to see this this is a piece of shit um like I said Samuel Jackson Chris Pratt did some of the voices and you know I was sitting there thinking enough is enough I've had it with these motherfucking cats eating this motherfucking lasagna and, you know, at that, at that point, I just had to get up and walk out. So, you know, I'm not even going to give this a rating. It was so bad. Um, moving on, the um, number five on my list, this is a lot better than Garfield, is The Idea of You. Um, it's, an, it's a movie starring Anne Hathaway, and I can't remember the other lead's name, but it's a chick flick. It's about Anne Hathaway playing a um she plays a 40 a 40 year old single mother who falls in love with a 24 year old member of a boy band and you know it's very repetitive but you, i mean Anne Hathaway plays a very typical Anne Hathaway role um i rather enjoyed it um you know seeing if there's one thing that i learned from anyone but you especially in rom-coms like if, you, if you're gonna have love interests in a rom-com they definitely need to have a good chemistry and Anne Hathaway and the lead co-star I don't really know I can't remember who who his name was but they definitely had really good chemistry and um it's on this movie is on Amazon Prime and if you're looking for a good fun date movie to watch or date night maybe to watch or whatever a nice rom-com i'd recommend it um number four on my list is kingdom of the planet of the apes um again some of these some of these movies i didn't review on my channel because i was too busy or whatever um i really enjoyed kingdom of the planet of the apes it really reminded me how good the other movies were and I was not a fan of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, but I really like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War of the War of the Planet of the Apes. Um, this really does a good job with capturing, um, like, with capturing um, the essence of that other trilogy, and it really it brings in some really good, interesting characters. Um, and they do reference Caesar a lot in this one, and you know, it really, you know, it really reminds me how good those pre those previous movies were. And you know, I could definitely see this movie being up for best special effects because the special effects in this movie was 
the special effects in this movie, they were pretty damn good. So I could definitely see this being up for an Oscar for that. I don't know if it's going to win, but you know what, um, you know, stranger things have happened. Um, number three, the fall guy, which I, I'm not going to really spend too much time on that seeing as how I, I remember I did review this on my channel. Um, Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, action movie. It's fun. I don't really need, I don't really need to say more. Um, number two, and this is another one that I did review on my channel, If. Um, you know, it's just a really good, heartwarming kids movie. You know, this is definitely a lot better than Garfield. And in my mind, this is definitely better than some of the movies, some of the movies that Pixar released within the last few years. And I don't, and you know, this is, I don't really think Inside Out 2 looks, looks like it's going to be any good, but you know, I never know. Um, acting is great. Good, fun family movie. Go see it with your, take your kids to see it. They'll love it. Adults can really chime into it as well. So it's good. Um, and number one, number one on my list that I saw this month is Furiosa, a mad, um, is Furiosa. Um, I really enjoyed Fury Road and I know a lot of people did, you know, this is, you know, Fury Road is definitely, um, an amazing action movie. George Miller is a really good action director, just like David Leach is, um, you know, and it really proves here that he, that he really knows what he's doing whenever it comes to do it at least whenever at least whenever it comes to doing mad max movies he is a very good director and um anya taylor julie's really good chris hemsworth deserves an oscar i mean at least everything i've seen so far this year he deserves like to be at least at least to be in the conversation whenever it comes to the best supporting actor. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get him a nomination, but he definitely deserves to be in the conversation. Um, really fun action movie. Um, and no dad, it's not a five hour movie. It's two, it's, it's a two and a half hour movie. Um, I, you know, my dad and I went to see this a few days ago and he had a problem with the length. I, however, I did not find a problem with the length. Um, you know, the action was really good. And one thing that separated this to me from, from Fury Road, this one actually had a story to it. Not many people like revenge stories, but I do. Um, it's a really good revenge story. Like I said, Anya Taylor Joy is really good, and so is Chris Hemsworth. Um, I can definitely, if this doesn't get nominated for Best Picture, I can definitely see this getting some technical categories like makeup, um, production design, um, maybe even special effects. Maybe um, a lot of pro. I'm sure, like, but I'm sure other ones that I'm not even gonna. That I'm sure there are other ones. That I'm forgetting about, but um, you know, makeup, special effects, and production design, I can definitely see those being. I can see it being nominated for those three. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, that um, that has been my view on the movies for the month. I don't know if I'm going to be doing one next month because there's next to nothing coming out in June, but maybe in July, um, if you guys liked, if you guys would rather see more, if you, if you guys would rather see me do more of these rather than just single reviews, let me know in the comments. And again, I want, and also, um, feel free to shout out in the comments, what was your favorite movie that you saw in May? Um, I want to know good, bad, and different. I don't care if you liked Garfield. I want to know, um, cause obviously, um, mine, it's just my opinion. Um, you know, I'm open to everything. So I'm open to every opinion. You know, I don't care if it's good or bad. 
Um, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.